Hey, what's up, y'all? Well, I'm removing and taking out the LC2i, the old one, and putting in the LC2i Pro. I contacted Audit Control and asked them, was, was there any difference? I mean, why did they come out with the Pro? I mean, why does it, I mean, it does have an actual feature. Uh, and they say actually it's the same, but you get the same effect you have here. They just made it with a simply easy installation with the Pro. And also the Pro comes with the ACR remote. Uh, so you get this and this when you buy the Pro. When you get the when you buy the Pro, you get the Pro, yeah, the two line output, two channel line output converter. You also get the remote. Whereas when you buy the standard LC2i, you just get it. Uh, the only difference is that with this one, you have you get the trigger whether you want the a remote turn on or do you want to step, turn on with an audio signal. You also get to select your load selector for what most factory systems, they detect the speakers when they're being disconnected and might throw a code. Well, the Pro, which is just easily installation for a, a installer, lets them select that load. Uh, with my RAM, since it's a Dodge, I'm supposed to put it at 20, uh, what do you say, 20, yeah, 20 ohm. Two, not 20K, but 20 ohm. So I'm supposed to go up here. And that's going to tell the, the uh, computer that the speaker is still connected, even though I'm running using that signal to boost up to get my sub signal which is used here you know the line output com converter audio control bumps the signal up to a 9.5 which enables you not to have to use your gain pretty much at all on your amplifier uh it's going to be a very good clean signal my gain on my Walford fog gate 1500 is at nothing i don't even use the gain i control that completely here uh also on the old lc2i the threshold was here well on the pro they put the iq base which restores the base on the factory system instead of putting that to the side in between the audio jacks which is here they put both knobs here so on the old you had the iq base level here and the threshold here well on the pro they're both here so it lets you know when you're clipping, when you're not clipping, and this, that, and other, and restores the base where it need to be. Other than that, it's going to be simple plug and play. So I'm just going to take my same connectors that hooked up to my wire in my truck over there and just boom, take these out, put them in here for my bag up, and that's it. So I'm just going to take these out because I've already got the wires ran. It's the same connectors. And then push them, push this one in here. Take this one out and push it here, and then just put in my new. Uh, other than that, you see, it's pretty much the same. There's no added boost. It's still gonna be 9.5 volts out on the game if you set it up that high. Uh, and that's it, man. Also, you don't have to open up the device to get to the remote turn on. You can select that here. So I'm gonna use the GTO so it detect the signal. I want to detect any signal that's going to cut on with the with the with the vehicle and I'm a ground isolation. I'm going to go ahead and put that on ground. That's that's soft, soft pop you might get. You go ahead and set that here and take care of that. So very simple, easy installation. LC Two I Pro. I think it's $129 and. This was 99. This is 129. Pretty much, you you really paying the 29 dollars for you get the remote. All right. So, hope you enjoyed this short, concise video.